Hello, it's Deathstroke. Well, actually, it's not Deathstroke. In fact, it's not even Slade Wilson, really. It is backwards compatible dad here, and today I will be reviewing this beautiful Deathstroke helmet by Xcoser, Xcoser, however you pronounce it. Let's get to it. Okay, guys, here is this beautiful Deathstroke helmet, and uh, this is the box that came in uh, by the company Xcoser, Xcoser, however you pronounce it. And yeah, I will, this is not technically an unboxing video, but I will show you the contents of that real fast. Um, of course, the mask itself was uh, adorned in a pretty heavy, pretty heavy bubble wrap, which is good. And inside the mask uh, was uh, just this big bubble wrap here by itself to cushion it. Uh, also in the box was this. Uh, it's a face mask, and it is... I think this is just, you know, basically to, um, it kind of fits you like a ninja mask, and it's basically just to kind of, I don't know, hide anything around the hairline area or neck area. Um, now that's if you didn't want to actually go and for this particular, in this particular case, as Slade Wilson and have an eye patch under there just with your face. But, you know, if you weren't planning to take the helmet off at all, this might come in handy. It might soak up some sweat, you know, um to prevent too much from getting inside the helmet so it could come in handy uh but yeah that uh that came with it and also inside the box i think they had a couple of promos uh yeah down in here uh yeah they had a couple of uh promos here that uh you can write a review for them uh, and a couple of cards uh by you know sent to you by x coser x gozer and um yeah, I actually ordered this off eBay from a, what well, was a second-hand seller, but uh, they apparently stock these from uh, this company, which is located in China, Beijing, I believe. But back to the helmet itself. I was, I was just blown away at the craftsmanship of this. I'm trying to show you here the entire thing. It's a little bit difficult with the way my camera is set up here. Um, but... This is one of those rare cases, to me anyway, where I was blown away when I opened the box and uh, saw what I saw because normally it's a little bit opposite. You see a better photo online and you get something and it doesn't look as nice. And you might not even be able to tell, even in a video, uh, of the sheen of this thing, the, the, this uh, metallic look it has on the one side. And I can best describe it as a copper look and if I hold a penny up you can kind of see how it matches of course the penny has a different sheen to it obviously but the coloring the coloring is pretty much copper on this particular Deathstroke mask um, as you can tell um, but I mean uh, you could you could really if you wanted to this thing is built so well and here's the back by the way uh, it fits over the back of your head. These straps, this part is actually separate here. And these straps can be tightened. I am not messing with them because it fits my head great now. And let me tell you, I have a huge head. <laughs> huge head, it's ridiculous. I mean, I can't even wear, uh, hardly wear any snapback caps without putting them, uh, like putting them on the last snap and you know, and even then they're tight, it's ridiculous. But I was blown away, for me, as to how well this fit my head, and with someone with a smaller head, maybe that would be a problem. Uh, uh, problem? Listen to how I'm pronouncing words. Oh my gosh. A problem. I'm wanting to insert extra syllables today. Oh well, anyway. Um, but look at the detail in this. And this is resin. This is hard. And uh, if you look on the inside of this a little bit more, you can see actually the uh, you know the strips of how they actually built this thing inside. There's the inside. Plenty of padding. Plenty of padding. Um, there's a. It kind of sticks out here by this eye thing. That's kind of sharp there, but it has not hit my eye. Um, and by the way, maybe one of the negative things of this particular brand is they stick their logo on the back of the helmet usually. Uh, if you really didn't want that in, you could probably sand it down and put some, you know, uh, 
uh, damage marks on there or anything you want, but um, it doesn't really bother me. Uh, but again, this is already adjusted to where it fits my head. I guess you could, you know, if, even if you had a bigger head than mine, and uh, hopefully no one does, but because, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm afraid, you know, if I get a uh, costume with this, um, unless I get really high shoulder pads for this particular costume, I'm going to end up looking like a Funko Pop figure. Uh, anyway. Uh, but it's just a really great crafted and great looking helmet, in my opinion anyway. This is the texture in here. It's just amazing. Um, and, and it's customizable, I would think, the way it's built. You know, if you wanted to, you could kind of redo this whole thing. You could uh, mask things off and paint this the older style of uh, just a brighter orange uh, and the older style death stroke if you wanted to and put your own you know uh, battle marks on it or whatever you could make this side instead of black you could make it blue and you know just do kind of a, uh, a a lightning effect with it with some blue and kind of do some spray work on it it is in my opinion i think this thing's totally customizable and i do know there's this tassel you know on the back here and typically i believe that uh the both strands on the back of that uh, helmet that I've seen in all you know uh, comic books and shows and everything they're usually uh, two different colors one for the one side of the mask and one for the other here they are both the same color well that's only just looped through there and you could just take that out and fix in you know go to a material shop and get your own and match up the colors or keep this side just for the one side of the color and then get you a black ribbon and put it through the other and you know because I think that may be incorrect I'm not sure it doesn't really bother me but uh, you could fix that if you wanted but again one of those this was one of those situations where I was blown away by the craftsmanship of this thing uh, when I opened the box as compared to what I saw in the photo on eBay uh, and that is just extremely rare I love this thing and it almost makes me want to get another one and mess around with the uh, the coloring and maybe go with the traditional uh, more bright orange look or maybe the blue side I don't know uh, but this thing it has a lot of potential and um, I just love this this helmet it is excellently sculpted excellent crafted I mean it's just it blew me away and I it was a shock really uh, in my opinion and the other shock like I said was how it fit my head so well um, but again, just, I'm totally, uh, any negatives to it, I can't hardly think of any. Now, when I got it out of the package, uh, I did kind of notice maybe a little bit of asymmetrical misshape to it, but I think that just, uh, it was a pretty tight box and it was, it just seemed kind of, you know, misshaped at the time. Now it doesn't really seem that way to me, uh, even if it is a little bit, but this is stretchable. You can you can adjust this as little as possible. It's, it's durable resin material. Uh, so, yeah. And uh, I think it kind of shaped back to where it was, or at least to where I can tell anyway. Um, really, I, don't, I, can't, I can't hardly think of anything negative to say about this particular helmet. Um, I just love it. I just do. And... Uh, Again, customizable. You can do anything you want with it, really. Uh, it's it's that good of a material. But I am hoping to get some really good cosplay out of this, and we'll see how a costume goes. But um, yeah, this thing is just beautiful. Uh, it's one of the few occasions where I can uh, <laughs> where I can uh, uh, testify in saying that the product product itself looked better than the photo. And uh, I guess the photo they took of it wasn't really that great. It was kind of a flash photo, and it darkened some of the areas. But I'm not even sure if a uh, video does it justice. Um, but anyway, maybe if I flip off my bright light here, uh, you might see a little bit different type of... Well, that kind of... Yeah, in my room here, that gives you maybe a little bit better idea under more natural lighting. But I just love this thing. And I, and I will say one more thing, and I, this may not even matter, it's just kind of silly maybe, but uh, if you are sensitive to certain smells, well, this thing has a slight smell to it, 
it smells good to me. Uh, it's almost, I, I don't know how to describe it. It's uh, somewhere between a more, it, it's not a bad smell. Some, some masks just stink. But it may be a little bit strong for people uh, that have are sensitive to certain smells. And I'm trying to think of what it could smell like. Do you remember the uh, rubber dodgeballs in gym class? It's heading toward heading towards that way, but not as not as much of a rubbery raw smell. It's a little bit. Uh, I don't know whether I'm smelling, you know, whatever they used some of the materials in there with glues that they use. I don't know. It's not really that bad of a smell on the inside of the mask, but, uh, you know, well, that's a little bit worse lighting there, but uh, you can't really see, but it's not a bad smell, but um, it kind of hit me when I opened it out of the box. It got a whiff of that, <laughs> so whatever is giving it that smell, some people may be sensitive to it, but again, great product. I love it, and if a little bit, you know, harsh smells don't bother you, it's probably going to drift away anyway eventually and it probably won't last long uh, if you wear it more even you know so uh, but I love this mask I love this helmet it is absolutely beautiful they did a great job on it so guys if you like this video hit that like button and hit the subscribe button uh, I, I really love this helmet I hope to get some good cosplay use out of it and all I need now is a costume we'll see how long that takes uh, but I'll go ahead and adorn the uh, ninja style underwear mask that you have the choice to wear under it if you want to and again it's probably just to hide the neck area or uh, keep excess sweat from soaking in there but uh, yeah it makes you look like a ninja and uh, here we go this is Deathstroke signing off